Hi, welcome to my presentation on Okta OIDC and integration with a social login such as Facebook uh, using OAuth 2.0. Okay, so uh, to begin, um, we're an end user. We're using a PHP application. It's called a client. And I have the Okta OpenID Connect app. I have Okta, op uh, I have Okta sourced profiles and I have an authorization server. In step one, I make a call to the Okta org for an authentication request. Step two, I type in my username and password. Step three, I get back a uh, authorization code from the authorization server. Now, um, I'm not c finished yet because what I really need is the access token. Um, so in the background, uses that authorization code and combines it with the client ID and client secret and sends it back to the authorization server. Th the authorization server makes sure, er make sure that everything matches and sends me the access token and ID token. Okay, um, And that's what allows my app to access profile attributes uh, such as uh, maybe the email address, uh, maybe the profile name, last name, first name, and things like that. Um, uh, the main difference between OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connect is that the uh, OpenID Connect adds the ID token uh, to the um, to the response, and the ID token is basically a JWT encoded token that contains information about the user. Okay, so in my previous uh, YouTube video, I created an uh, OAuth 2.0 app within Facebook, and I tested it, and um, everything worked. I tested it with OAuth Debugger and Postman. Um, and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to create an OIDC app in Okta and log into it uh, from my PHP application. This PHP application um, isn't solely mine actually. I actually um, got it from a YouTube video and um, I modified it a little bit for my specific needs but I have put the link to the video and the author's name in my description below. Okay and let's go to my dev account here. So in applications here what I do is I select create application, and then select create OIDC connect. And I'm doing a web application. Hit, uh, yeah. hit next, and then um, I'm presented to this page here. So I just give it an arbitrary name. So let's say um, OIDC with Facebook. Okay, um, the sign in redirect URI is my local host uh, on port 80 because I'm running it from a Docker container. And I'm going to allow everyone to act, it, allow everyone in my organization to access it. I hit save. Okay, and that's all we need to do for a uh, open ID connect um, connect application within Okta. Uh, so let's test this out. Let's go into incognito mode. Uh, oh wait, there's one more thing we should do. I just have to put these settings in there. So in my PHP app, copy the client ID. And then I'm going to copy this secret. And my redirect URI is localhost port 80. And my Okta org is my um, dev, account, dev account URL. OK, and I put all those values there. I can uh, 
connect to it from my incognito window. Log in. Sign in with one of my Okta sourced profiles. Okay, and it comes back with my ID token and my access token. So as you can see here, I'm using uh, OpenID Connect because it has the uh, ID token. Um, let's close this incognito window. Now let's um, create an integration where we log into Okta, OpenID Connect, but actually that it redirects us to our Facebook login as the IDP. And uh, let's see if we can do that here. Okay, so under security, let's go to identity providers and let's um, add an identity provider. <coughs> Excuse me. Facebook. Okay. <coughs> and give it a name. Uh, in this case, we'll give it FB testing. Client ID. Uh, we're going to get that from our Facebook app here. Under settings, under basic. And our app secret. I'm going to get from here. And all these you can leave as default, as we're doing a match against the IDP user email address, against the username, account policy, account link policy, we're gonna set to automatic. Um, and then we're gonna hit finish. Okay, good. Now it provides us with this uh, redirect URI. And um, normally we would have to copy this into our Facebook app, bec but because I've done this a few times already, um, under products here, under configure settings. I've already set this in there, okay, but normally you would have to copy it in. Um, and that's basically what you need for to set an identity provider. Now we also need a routing rule. So what we need to do here is add an, a routing rule. So add routing rule, and then we're going to do FB route rule. And then using which identity provider is the identity provider that we created just now, which is FB testing, create rule, and activate. OK. And I, once I go back to my PHP application, I should be rerouted to Facebook for login. Let's go localhost. It's two incognito windows here. Uh, log out of that as well. Okay. Localhost, log in. And we get re redirected to Facebook. And this time I'm going to use my Facebook credentials. I'm going to use the password that I use for Facebook. So here. Okay, and it returns me back to my login page of my PHP application. And we can see that we are using OpenID Connect on top of Facebook uh, because I get this ID token here, which is, um, oh, oh, which is what OpenID Connect uses on top of OAuth 2.0. Thank you.